Thanks, Cole and Maria. It should be very exciting that Iowa State game. I was there last year, and the night games are super fun too. So yeah, rivalry week is one of the best times on campus. But for some Hawkeyes who played key roles in Iowa's win over Iowa State last season, will be elsewhere come time for the big game. That's true, Alec. But they are still earning recognition for their time here at Iowa. Yeah, the senior members of the 2015 University of Iowa football team, Cole Fisher, Jordan Lomax, and Drew Ott, have been named the National Football Foundation Hampshire Honor Society. The Honor Society recognizes senior football starters who carry a cumulative GPA of 3.2 or higher throughout their college career. And who knows where those three and the rest of the seniors from the 2015 season will be come the Iowa State game, let alone next week. That's right, the NFL Draft is finally here. We are just moments away from the first round and amongst the excitement there are plenty of former Hawkeyes hoping to get that call this weekend. Finishing our NFL prospect interviews, I caught up with Iowa's former starting right guard, Jordan Walsh. Check it out. So first question, how are you kind of feeling the days almost here? Um, how's it been kind of leading up to it and everything? Um, yeah, I've been pretty excited. Uh, this has been a really weird experience for me. Uh, it's different than I've been like any little job interview that I've been to, so it's gonna be, be pretty, cool, pretty cool. And how are you feeling um, emotionally? Physically, mentally, what's kind of like the hardest um, thing to ta tackle right now? Definitely uh, mentally, because you have no, you have no idea what's going on. No one's gonna, like who's gonna, who's interested. Like um, we're gonna be in like the next whatever time. So obviously, you've been in Iowa City training since the Rose Bowl. Um, how have you been preparing, and what's been the biggest difference in preparing for? the draft or the prospect of being in the NFL versus a regular season with the Hawkeyes? Well, definitely the beginning part is you have to train to be kind of like a, tra a track star. So running, the 40, um, things I don't do in a mm -hmm. regular uh, day in Kinnick Stadium, but you know, trying to do all that stuff, then tr transitioning after uh, the pro day t to football related workout. Now that you've been outside of Iowa football for a few months now, what is life like without Iowa football? It's different. Um, you come here every day, um, obviously to train, but you see all the other guys like working, practicing, and stuff like that, and looking forward to their, their next season. And it's kind of different because you're not, you're not really looking forward to the season. You're kind of waiting to hear from right. somebody to look forward to the season. Try and pursue the draft, or was it always something you knew you were going to do or try to do? You know, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to play in the NFL on Sundays, and um, it has always been a dream of mine. So um, coming from here at uh, University of Iowa, um, there's a lot of success in, for the offensive line. So I decided I might as well give it a shot. So. Jordan Walsh is predicted to get drafted in the sixth round on Saturday. You can check out that full interview and the other NFL prospect on Daily Iowa TV's YouTube page. But football isn't the only sport receiving national attention. This week, University of Iowa's Aaron Mallett was named Co-10 Track Athlete of the Week. The junior All-American set a meet record and a season best with a time of 13.50 in the 110-meter hurdles on April 23rd at Musco Twilight. The defending Big Ten champ has led the conference in the 110 meter hurdles for four straight weeks and is the fourth Hawkeye to earn Big Ten honors this season. And another Iowa team is taking on the conference one match at a time. Men's tennis won their first match of the Big Ten tournament today, but before that, I met up with sophomore star Jake Jacoby. The 2015 class of University of Iowa freshmen reports more out-of-state residents than in-state residents, but most of those out-of-state residents come from states like Illinois, Minnesota, and Indiana. However, only under 1% comes from the state of Arkansas. But Iowa tennis sophomore Jake Jacoby is under that 1% and looks to already assume a powerful and important position on the University of Iowa tennis team. However, Jake Jacoby didn't expect himself to come on campus and get results instantly. I didn't see myself, I, I didn't, wasn't even sure I was going to make the starting lineup my freshman year, and now I feel like I'm contributing to this team more than I thought I could have. It wasn't until his first match in Iowa when he found the tools to success in the collegiate level. Well, I came in my first year and we played Western Michigan in our first match, and I was down 6-0-3-1 in about 25 minutes, and I was just losing it out there. I, I didn't, I, I thought college tennis wasn't for me right away. I just was scared to death. But then I came back and won that match and got so much confidence from that. 
it just made me think of how this is a different level and you have to listen to your coaching or you can get blown away by some of these players because it's a whole different level. Considering how far the tennis team has come with just two years on campus and two years with a new head coach, it's safe to say that the sky is the limit. Jacoby and the rest of the Hawkeyes are competing in the Big Ten Tournament in Minneapolis this weekend. But staying close to home, the Iowa baseball team hosts a three-game non-conference series against Kansas State this weekend in Iowa City. And we'll have all of that and more on Sunday's show. But until then, back to you guys at the desk.